Hi there, so here is the Mi TV 4A 43 inches, the first generation Mi TV that came only with the patch roll OS. I received an early test build of the Android TV 9 on 18th of August. I also made a video covering it, you can click the link here to see it if you haven't. In this video, I'd like to share my experience with the Android 9 on the old Mi TVs. So it's been more than 3 weeks, how good has it been? Let's find out. But before that, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. This is your friend texting. Let's get started. The update so far has been performing very well. I've had a few app crashes, but that's not unusual. It could happen with a stable build as well. And it's not very often. The Android TV update has been extremely responsive. No lag or stutters. Same goes for Patchwall, run smoothly. Along with the Android TV update, we get the Patchwall 2.0 with a refreshed white interface. Moving on to the features, apps and changes. Downloaded the VLC player app from the Play Store and tested a couple of video formats. Everything played flawlessly. MKV, MP4, MOV, you just throw it and it works. Have been using Chromecast almost every day to cast YouTube and Amazon Prime videos and it works without any hiccups. The Android 9 update comes with the official Amazon Prime app support, but it doesn't work yet. The app got an update from the Play Store and it really gave me hope, but unfortunately, it didn't play. I'm not complaining because we can still watch Amazon Prime videos using the Chromecast, but having the app would be amazing. The official YouTube app is a blessing. Finally, you can sign in to your Google account. Videos play perfectly fine, though it didn't play 4K videos, Full HD at max. I'm not complaining. Sideloaded apps like the Aptoid TV and Netflix, no problem, smooth installation. Netflix app works fine too, tested it a couple of times. If you want to know how to sideload apps, I'll leave the links in the description. Set-up box channels look the same as they did before. There is an option to boot from the source of your choice. So if you don't want to use the smart TV and just want to use your set-up box, you can choose that in the settings. Screen off option is also available. So if there is a video or music playing, you can simply turn off the screen and save electricity. Also ideal if you turn off or turn on the TV a couple of times. Sleep timer is finally available. It was there on the first generation Mi TVs running patch wall. It was called delay power off, where you could set it between 15 minutes to 120 minutes. But it was not available in the Mi TV Pros running the Android TV 8. But now with this update, you can set it anywhere between 30 minutes to 240 minutes. Great. Now many of you have been asking about the voice search. No luck as of now, the remote doesn't have a mic, so there is no source of sound input. Also tried using the Android remote app, but in vain. You can however type and search on the Google Assistant, which works perfectly fine. Overall, the update has been holding up very well, quite stable. Amazon Prime app didn't work, so hopefully we should see it work with a stable update and we might get to see the voice search work with the Android TV remote app too. Apart from that, everything works. Let's address some questions I've been receiving about the Android Pie from the past three weeks. When will we get the Android TV 9 update? The Android 9 is already being rolled out to Mi TV 4C and 4A Pros. 49 inch and 55 inch Pros to follow soon. What about the first generation Mi TVs? Well, frankly, there isn't an official date, but with the way it looks, the Mi TV 32 inch and 43 inch should be getting it this month or early October. Will the Mi TV 4A 32 inch and 43 inch get a Bluetooth support with the update? No, you won't get Bluetooth support in the old Mi TVs with the Android 9 update. Can we buy or use the voice remote of the Mi TV Pros with the old Mi TVs for voice search? No because no Bluetooth support on old Mi TVs 32 inch and 43 inch. What about Netflix? As of now, you can sideload the mobile version and use it, but as the smart TV industry and competition is growing, we might see Netflix support coming to the Mi TVs as well. Fingers crossed, I'm really hopeful for this one. What about the update on the Mi TV 4 55 inch? Well, Xiaomi has promised it, it will provide the update for that as well. I agree it's been delayed, but guys, hold tight. Surely it will come. So I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments and give me your feedback about this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for many more videos like these. Until next time, cheers.